Hey guys, what's up? It's the Chaos Prophet, and today I have Real Talk Bro for you guys. Uh, this is just a series where I talk about me and gaming and things that are going on with me. And so I have a few topics of uh, what I want to talk about. What you're watching right now is some Horizon gameplay on uh, Exo Survival for Call of Duty. Um, and what you're listening to right now is uh, a mix that I did, a few mixes from Epidemic Sound for my network. And I put them together and two of them, I think, I think two of them are the same guy and then another two are another guy and then one is, is another artist. So, uh, and I'll put them all down in the description so you guys can go listen to them if you want. Uh, if you're with Freedom, you can download them free, but otherwise you can't. Uh, you'll have to pay for it. But what I want to talk to you guys about, a few things here, is uh, I don't know if I should continue my Shadow of Mordor or my Far Cry 4. Um, I'm thinking about changing my channel, and I'm not sure yet. Uh, and maybe only do short games from now on, because games like this, even though they're really good games, they take forever and people are already done with them and I'm having fun with them it's just it's gonna take me a long time since I don't post three or four videos a day of them uh, they take a while and I believe uh, Shadow of Mordor was uh, in the end of September th uh, September 30th I believe and uh, Far Cry was sometime in November so it's been about three or four months for both of them uh, maybe even longer so I'm wondering your guys' take on it. Should I continue those? Uh, I know a few people want me to finish them uh, because they are really good games, but I just really want to know your guys' opinion, and uh, more than likely, I probably will finish them. It'll just take some time because it's they're both like 15-hour games. So, uh, and I think in the future, I'm only going to do like topics and maybe multiplayer and... Uh, maybe tips and tricks I don't know uh, maybe just favorite classes or n weapons and stuff like that for Battlefield and there'll be stuff on Payday 2 whenever it comes out because I think that's been moved back uh, it was supposed to drop like the, the 30th of April or something but I think it's going to be uh, somewhere in the 6th month uh, on like the 18th or something like that I can't remember what Gamefly said so that's kind of saddening hopefully they do come out sooner though I really wanted to play it um, but either way, I'm going to continue my channel in a way that I want to do it and, and do certain topics. Speaking of that, um, there's a guy that I watch and uh, his name is Review Tech USA. I've done uh, or I've talked about him a few times. He talks about a lot of good stuff and I really like what he does and uh, I'm glad that he, he does what he does. He, he talks about certain topics that no one else talks about really in the gaming industry whether it have to do with Phil Spencer, whether it would have to do with people in China that are doing messed up things over there for gaming. Like, I believe one of the stories was that, uh, a while back that a couple sold their children so that they can, uh, to the, the black market or something, child smuggling, so that they can get more money for a free-to-play game. And it was just like, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on with with this world that you have to sell your children to get money for a free-to-play game so that you can buy stuff in it. It's just ridiculous, but he's a really good guy. And one of the things he talked about, I think, lately was uh, swatting and how swatting isn't getting uh, the right punishment. And I completely, completely agree with him. It's, it's ridiculous how um, somebody can call in uh, the SWAT force. If, that's what, if you don't know what it is, swatting is basically calling the... Uh, the SWAT, the police, and uh, on a streamer, and watching them get arrested, and potentially uh, it could turn out really dangerous, and the cops could shoot somebody, and it's it's a five-year penalty. There was a guy that was caught, and uh, he has five years charged to him, uh, but it's not long enough. He says 25 to life. I say at least 15 years uh, minimum. And uh, maybe even longer, uh, but potentially somebody could get killed with this, and it's really dumb. I really hate swatting. Uh, I don't know why somebody thinks it's funny. I don't know why that's what you think your entertainment is. Um, it'd be easier to order a pizza or, you know, a hooker to his to their house. That would be kind of funny. You put a 
a swatting where somebody could die is just ridiculous. Um, so, and somebody is going to die. I think there was another uh, video that he did on there, Review US Tech, uh, Review Tech USA, uh, did that some kid was holding a Wii remote and got shot in the face when he opened the door for the cop because the cop thought he had a gun. Uh, so, it's people people make mistakes that's what it is and it's fucking stupid so um i hope that swatting stops probably won't uh until the law catches up with them and, and the law changes but you know i really hope something is done about it uh the other thing i want to talk about is nintendo now uh i recognize a lot of people are doing this uh boogie 29988 i think i said that right uh and uh review us tech Ugh, cannot speak today. I apologize. Review USA, uh, Tech USA. Uh, he said he, he did the same kind of thing on this type of video, uh, where uh, it doesn't affect his bottom line. It doesn't affect his bottom line at all because it doesn't do gameplay of it. It doesn't affect my bottom line either. I don't get paid much anyways, but I, I don't make Nintendo videos. Nintendo was always cool was always good at their job back in the day but i was more of a sega person so uh even though sega's kind of going under as well uh but nintendo is kind of stupid if you haven't heard they're doing this like program where if if you do any type of videos or if you want to get partnered with nintendo your, themselves they will take a cut of your money after youtube takes their cut and it's fucking ridiculous uh, it's, I think they take, uh, 60% or 70%, something like that, of your cut, and you're driving people away, Nintendo, if you're listening, which you're probably not, but it's, it's, it's a horrible thing to do. Uh, it's free advertisement, and a lot of people are signing up for the program because they think it's a good thing, or they think, you know, I, I, I have a channel that's Nintendo, and I can't do anything else, so I might as well partner with them, even though they'll take most of my money, even after YouTube's cut, or even uh, anything else, I have to do it, and it's, it's just dumb because other people like EA and uh, Ubisoft and stuff like that might start doing it, and that's kind of a scary thought, so uh, it's kind of dumb that Nintendo wants to do this. Uh, you're a multi-billion dollar company anyways, there's no reason to do this, and it's free advertisement, and if you're just making people hate Nintendo more, unless you have a better console coming out in the next year or two, even though it's the most selling console right now, even over the Xbox and I think even the PS4, it's had a year, so of course it's going to sell more, but, uh... It's going downhill, especially since third parties are kind of hating Nintendo. So uh, it's kind of ridiculous that they're doing this program to put more money into their pocket even though they don't need it. Um, and it kind of upsets me even though I don't deal with Nintendo. But I do know people and friends that I have on YouTube that do only Nintendo. And it's, it's kind of bad luck for them unless they really want to sign up for this program, which isn't a great deal to begin with. Um... I don't know, maybe they should only take 10% at max and give the, the person 90% because uh, 60, 40, 70, 30, whatever it is, it's kind of screwing people over and it shouldn't be done at all anyways. Um, so yeah, I have a few topics. I mean, those were the main topics that I really wanted to talk about and uh, I apologize for not uploading. Uh, I was going to upload yesterday some Shadow of Mordor, but again, I thought, I was like, ah. I don't know if anybody wants to see this anymore, and also I wasn't really in the mood to play that game. It was just, it was more of a, oh god, what do I do? And so uh, I decided to make a real talk and, and talk about the hard-hitting topics that I'm thinking about lately and uh, things that I want to do with my channel and that's going along with uh, Nintendo and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the music, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. It's not great gameplay, uh, I probably should have gotten farther, but this is like a 10 minute video, so if you sat all the way through this, fantastic, you're awesome, and thank you for supporting me, uh, but yeah, I hope you guys really did enjoy it, 
Uh, I was trying to come up with more topics, but there's not too much things to talk about uh, besides the games I'm getting, besides what I'm doing with my channel, uh, swatting that's coming up, uh, that, that's really stupid. Nintendo being dumb and other stupid stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary and enjoyed the gameplay and the music. Uh, let me know what you think about my mix and, and whatnot that I spent a little bit of time uh, putting together. A lot of them are songs uh, that two people did. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. This has been the Chaos Prophet saying don't get lost in the chaos. Later, guys, and be free.